Welcome, fellow audio sorcerers, wizards, and gurus to my channel. I'm Dan Spencer, and I am the audio sorcerer. So this is a channel to teach you how to affect your recording, mixing, and mastering skills. So in today's video, we're talking about the new Presona Studio One 5. If you guys don't know, they just released a new subscription service called Spear, and you basically get Studio One 5 Professional and almost every add-on for $14.95 a month. It's absolutely phenomenal. So uh, you're definitely going to want to check it out. And if you guys are new to it, this video is going to help you figure out how you actually install it and how to install it properly. And I do have chapters below if you want to fast forward to any of them. So before we get to the video, I do want to mention I offer mixing and mastering services. You go to audiosorcerer.com. You can check out my samples and my rates, and I give 10% off to new customers. All you got to do is sign up for that email list. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to when I have new videos coming out. So with that being said, let's get to this tutorial. All right, so here we are on my computer here. And today we're talking about how to install Presona Studio One 5. Now Presona's just launched their new subscription-based program called Spear. And we're gonna be basically purchasing it and then installing it and going through the process to get it up and running. That's what this video is gonna show you. So the first thing we need to do is open up Google. So let's do that. And then simply, we just want to go to presonus.com. Now, when you get on the home page here, you're going to want to go up to the very top right corner here where it says, Log in to my presonus. Click on that. And here is where you need to log in. Or if you don't have an account, you want to go to create your account. And then you want to fill out all this information here. And they're going to send you a confirmation email in which, of course, you need to confirm that this is actually you. And after you do that, your account will be completely created and you'll be ready to go. So if you haven't done that yet, do that now. Pause the video and then come back. So now that your account is created, you're going to want to log into it. So let's do that now. All right, cool. So once you're logged in, uh, it's going to take you to your profile page and it should list your name right here in the middle. And likely, if you just created your account, like most people probably watching this video, you don't have uh, much information in here and you don't have any products yet. So the point of this video is actually going out and getting Studio One. So let's go to the Shop tab right up here. Okay, so on the Shop tab here, we're going to want to go to either Studio One or Presona Spear. And the one I'm showing in this video is Spear. So we're going to click on this. So again, this is Presonus' new subscription-based program in which gives you Studio One Professional and pretty much every add-on for $14.95 a month. That is absolutely ridiculous. And if you don't want to pay monthly, you could do a yearly membership here for $164.95. And I think that saves you a couple bucks. Um, it's not a whole lot, but hey, if that, if that money matters to you, then maybe just get the yearly membership. Uh, for this video, we're just going to do the $14.95 monthly membership. So what you're going to do next is go to add to cart and let's let our cart load here. Okay. So you'll have the membership in here and then you'll see the total 1495 and then you want to do proceed to checkout. So when I do this, it's going to give me an error since I've already purchased this, but you'll uh, see what it does here. Okay. So yeah, so yeah, I get an error here because I have subscription. However, from this point on, and we'll come back to the video once you finish this, this is just like buying any other product online. You just need to fill out your credit card information that you're gonna use for your subscription. Uh, you can use PayPal if you want, um, real simple. And you'll get you know a couple confirmation emails after you do it. So take the time, pause the video, do that, and then come back to it. All right, so now that you have subscribed to Spear or bought Studio One 5 outright, you're going to want to come back to the Presonus website and go to your account page here and then click on view products. So let's click on that. So under view products, you should see the Presonus hub, Studio One 5 Professional, and potentially Notation 6. I'm not sure if this comes with Studio One 5 if you buy it outright or if it only comes with the Spear subscription service. Uh, but again, we're not really talking about that in this video. So the two you are most concerned with are these two here. Now, here's something you need to pay attention to. If you subscribe to Spear, you're gonna to wanna to click on this to download it. See, as I hover over it, it says Spear subscribers only, and it has a little picture of the Spear icon. If you bought Studio One 5 Professional outright, you're gonna to wanna to click on this one here where it says Down Installer. So, since we are doing the subscription service of Spear, we'll click on this here. And it's gonna take you to the download page. We'll wait for it to load. 
Okay, so the website has detected that I am using a Windows computer, and that is why we only see the download installer for Windows. If you want to see the Mac one, go to Show All Systems, and that will show the Mac one here. Now, if you were on a Mac, this should have been the one that popped up, but if it didn't, that's how you see it there. So let's click on the installer for our specific type of computer, and it will bring up the download window here. Choose where you want to save it to. Uh, I typically save mine to the download section. Now I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it again, so I'm going to hit cancel here, but for you guys, hit the save button and let it download now. And you're also going to want to do the same thing for the PreSonus Hub. So click on this here and wait for this to load. Do the same thing. Click on Download and Star your computer type. And it will launch download here. And then also save it to wherever you want to save it. Let those download. And then we'll go through the installation process next. All right, so now that you have the Hub and Studio One 5 downloaded, let's first install Studio One 5. Let's double click on the installer. All right, and you're gonna to wanna to hit next. Uh, if you wanna read the agreement, feel free to, and then hit I agree. Uh, this will choose the proper place to install it, so just leave this as is and hit install. And then we'll wait for it to do its thing. Okay, so it does it pretty fast, and simply when you get to this page here and it says that it's been completed, just hit finish. All right, now that that is finished, before we get to the complete installation of Studio One 5, because obviously it's not that fast, <laughs> uh, let's actually do the hub first. So let's double click on this. All right, so next you're gonna wanna choose your uh, language and I am in North America, so I'll go with English. Then you're gonna hit next. Again, read the agreement if you want to, and then hit I agree. And then you want to choose your uh, plugin types. So I actually have Pro Tools on here, and I also have obviously PreSonus, which has VST plugins. So I'm going to want both of these. Let's go to Install, and then hit Finish, and your hub is all ready to go there. So this video is not about how to use the hub. So we're not going to talk about that, but at least you have it installed now. So let's get to the core of it here and go back to Studio One Five. So. You should have had an icon on your desktop after you installed this, and it should look like this here and say Studio One 5. If not, you can type in your search bar, Studio One 5, and then open it that way. But either way, open it now. Let it launch here. And this is kind of what it looks like when it's launching. Um, now, I already have it installed, so you're gonna see it maybe just a little bit different than it looks like on your computer right now, but we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Studio One here and then go to Studio One Installation, and this should be a similar window to what you guys are seeing now. So, uh, you're gonna to want to do Install From, and that's gonna be Download from PreSonus Account. You wanna leave that as is. And then you wanna choose where you want to install to. And then you wanna choose your configuration. So, I recommend doing the full installation here. And this will retrieve all the different products that exist that come with your subscription. And then you're simply just gonna to go through and check everything that you want in here, which honestly, you should want everything. Uh, the only thing that I don't wanna install in here is the uh, Melodyne Essential because I have a purchase version of Melodyne 5, which is um, a higher, version than essential. So I don't want this here. So I would leave this dechecked. So you're going to want to check everything that you want to download and install here, which is quite a bit of stuff in here that comes with the subscription service. So it's fantastic as mentioned before. So for me, I have everything checked, but Melodyne. Again, if you don't have Melodyne though, uh, you're going to want to check this box because it is amazing for uh, pitch correction of vocals and many other things. I just did a tutorial on it. It's popping up in the top right here. If you guys have time, check it out after this video. So once you have everything checked and everything set up right here, all you have to do is hit the install button and it's gonna go through the whole process of installing this. Now, it took me probably about, I don't know, 45 minutes to install all this, including Studio One. It took a little bit, a little bit of time. So you're gonna wanna hit the install button and then just walk away and then come back when it's done. So uh, do that now and then come back to this video. All right, so now that you have installed Studio One 5 and all of its extensions, uh, when you relaunch it, it's gonna look like this now. 
And I have a bonus step for you here because I don't want to leave you hanging. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to set your audio interface up to work with Studio One and then maybe a couple you know, basic things within the software like making tracks so you can at least start recording. So regarding your interface, uh, it should show up here, whatever you have defaulted right now, that may not be the interface you want to use. And that's going to show you what the sampling rate is set at and then the buffer size. So to get your interface fully set up, we want to go to configure audio device. Let's click on that. All right, so the audio setup section pops up here and then the audio device tab is where we want to be. So this will show you all the different interfaces or audio drivers in your computer. Select the one that you want to use here now. And then you can, you know, check and see what the sampling rate is set at, if it's accurate. Uh, again, if you've seen any of my other videos, I recommend recording at 44.1 for music. And then for film, it depends. I do mine at 48 because I usually are making these videos for uh, YouTube. And when I record my camera, when I do my live footage, it's set at 48, so it just matches up. So 48 is good for video, 44 one is great for music, and I know there's debate on all that, but that's what I like to do. Okay, so after you have that selected, you're pretty much all ready to go regarding that. There are a couple things I wanna show you under locations that are very important. So you're gonna to wanna to choose where you want to save all of your projects at. And under user data here, this is where you would do it here in this first section. If you have two hard drives, this is where you would want to save your um, projects at on a second hard drive and then have, you know, Studio One running on your main, you know, Windows installed hard drive. Something to keep in mind. And then for um, VST plugins, this is important here. You want to make sure that you have your proper folder selected on your computer where your VST plugins are installed at. So if you're new to recording, these default locations are probably okay. But if you're someone who has other DAWs on your computer, you definitely want to check this and make sure this is accurate. And then in here, um, you know, there's some other things regarding network, keyboard shortcuts, appearance. This is stuff you guys probably don't care about right now. So in this option section, and this is your first time using it, just worry about locations and audio setup. So once this is all done, you just wanna hit okay. And then you're pretty much ready to go. So you have an option in here to either do a new song, new project, new show, you can open an existing project. So for our scenario, we're just gonna do create a new song. And then you have all these different presets in here that you can do um, under here. You also have different interfaces you can choose from in here. And these, I believe, are all mostly PreSonus um, interfaces, which makes sense since Studio One's by PreSonus. And then, uh, you know, you can have user ones in here, empty song. This is one that I've already used, and I believe that's why it showed up in here. So uh, we'll create an empty song. Uh, we will call it, uh, how about just test? And then sampling rate, again, I'm gonna do them at 48 because I'm doing this for a video. I recommend for you guys do it 44.1. That will also be the less taxing on your computer. Uh, resolution. I have been at 64 bit float and I'm just kind of trying it out right now. So that's why I have it there. But for you guys, if you do 24 bit, you'll be completely fine to be honest. So, you know, that's completely fine. And then it allows you to put some information in about your song, like your tempo, your time signature, your key signature. If you guys are creating a brand new song, you're probably not gonna know any of that stuff yet, but don't worry, you can actually go back and fix the stuff later. So don't worry about it now. Uh, stretch audio files to song tempo. I actually like to leave that checked because if you're gonna put a loop in, it's gonna try its best to basically match it up um, in tempo with the song. So leave that checked. Once that's all ready to go, just hit okay. Look how fast the session was created. It didn't even have any like loading bar or anything. It was like, bam, that's actually something I find really cool. All right, so really in here, the main thing I just wanna show you is how to create a track, and that would be an audio track and an instrument track. Um, it's as simple as going uh, over to this section here, either right-clicking and do Add Tracks, or it gives you the little keyboard shortcut here, which is a T, so I'm gonna hit T. And then all you gotta do is name your track, so we'll say audio, it's called audio track, keep it simple. And then you can do your track color here, We'll leave it on blue. You can also set up your uh, 
input on your audio interface here to uh, be ready to go right off the bat. So for me, I have, I believe, inputs one and two active in here, and the uh, PreSonus software kind of named them as input left, input right, and that's basically input one and two. So that's all I have active in the software right now because I don't usually use more than two inputs. So I will leave this on input left, which is actually input one, and then the output is main, which is completely fine, and then I'll hit OK, and then my new track is created. And if I want to record, I simply hit this button here. That will record enable it. And then, uh, of course, you can use the little transport down here. This is the record button here. And then obviously you got your stop and play, all that good stuff here. Again, this is not a detailed tutorial on how to use uh, Studio 1.5, but I just want to give you some basics here. And then probably the other thing you guys are most interested in are the instruments. So if you go over to this section here and you go up to instruments, and say you want to use PreSonus's impact, which is like a, I guess, a drum maker here. So we can actually simply just grab it and drag it over here and bam, it creates the track. That's all there is to make an instrument track. You just literally drag it from this browser section here onto the track section and there it is right here. So yeah, I think that should be uh, enough to get you guys started in Studio 1.5. So I hope you guys enjoyed this installation video. I hope you guys didn't have any struggles going through it. Of course, if you did, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe because I love making this content for you. And hit that notification bell to know I have new videos coming out. So with that being said, I will see you guys later and peace out.